Welcome back to Football Mundial, ladies and gentlemen, where today I'm joined by a heartbroken Michael McCubbin. Yeah, it was a hard one to take, but come on, Hampton, we keep on going. Great night for the club and the fans. Fantastic atmosphere. Anyway, today we have a Bayern legend in broad and controversy, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, making even more crazy statements and the continuation of the Sporting Lisbon saga. Yes, when? arrests have been made. Keep watching. We begin this week's journey in Portugal, where the events at Sporting from last season have come back into the headlines. Yes, that's because former president Bruno de Carvalho, who was ousted by the club in the summer, has been arrested. That's right, Carvalho was due to appear in court this morning after being suspected of ordering and helping coordinate the attack on the club's training ground in May. Oh my days. Mm. The violent demonstration saw a number of key players assaulted by sporting thugs and led to captains Raul Patricio and William Carvalho terminating their contracts with the club. Yes, and this comes just after it was revealed Carvalho had told Patricia and others to go f*** yourselves during the contract dispute. But do you think he was behind the attacks? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And Carvalho isn't the only man in hot water this week, as Frank Ribéry, Frank Ribéry got Frank himself Ribéry into trouble following Bayern's loss at Borussia Dortmund. Yes, apparently the Frenchman slapped being sports journalist Patrick Gilou in a confrontation after the game. Oh my day. Slapped him. Oh my goodness. Mm. Apparently Gilou was also subject to verbal abuse from Rivery's wife, Wahiba, who called him boring and useless. Classic playground behaviour there. Apparently the club are looking into the matter and are going to set up a meeting to sort it out between the two parties. Good. Saucy. God, yet another Another calamitous episode for the club who are now seven points off Dortmund in the league and have been implicated in the Football League scandal. Mm. How much worse can it get? Look, let's also not forget, Muller's wife came out uh, last week as well. Came she out was in trouble. trouble. Uh, oh. She was like, why is Muller not playing? Oh yeah, I saw that, yeah, unrest. Didn't she say the best player at the club yeah, as well? Yeah, mental. Crazy. Now it's time for Out of Our League and this week, thanks to Del 10 Juve's suggestion, we're returning to the Swedish Allsvenskan. Well done, That's better yes. than the first time I said it. It was. We covered it recently, but the Scandinavian competition wrapped up on the weekend and it had a dramatic finish. Yes, that's right. Going into the final game, both AIK and Norrköping had the possibility of winning the title with AIK going for their first championship since 2009. Ooh, it's made a welcome change from the norm with Zlatan Ibrahimovic boyhood club Malmo winning in four of the last five seasons. Wow. And all AIK had to do was avoid defeat to Kalmar to take the crown. Yes, it was a nervy encounter and they had less than 25% possession. Oh my God. Which is pretty crazy for a team who had lost just one game all season. But they ran out 1-0 winners and madness ensued. This is not for the faint-hearted, watch this. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant Woo! scenes there. Congratulations from all of us here at EFD. But where shall we head to next week? Let us know with the hashtag out of your league. Now yes. roll that new transition we've Ooh, made. Yeah, it's sexy. Ooh. Big up, Kieran. So Zlatan Ibrahimovic has featured on this program quite a bit in the last few months, but despite his heroics at LA Galaxy this year, the later story has him linked back with PSG. Ooh, that's because the former Sweden international is considering a move back to the city of Love after he hangs up his boots. Oh Lord, apparently yeah. Les Parisians are keen on welcoming him back, but there is one important condition for Zlatan, that he is the manager. Wow, to quote the former Barca and Juve man, if I come back to PSG, it's to be the boss. There are no other possible positions for me. Of course he said this. To be fair to the Swede, he also did not indicate he was planning to retire anytime soon. But nevertheless, it seems a little overblown even for him. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Considering Henri's start at Monaco, Zlatan may want to reconsider his options a little bit, or at least get a few years of experience of coaching under his belt before throwing his hat in. But what do you think? Would Ibra actually make a good manager? Let us know in the poll. Yes or no? Very easy. Over in Manchester now, plans are underway for a small exodus in January. But despite the rumours, Alexis Sanchez will not be leaving Old Trafford. No, instead, Mourinho wants to cash in on Marcus Rojo and Eric Bailly who have both struggled for form and game time. 
in 2018. They have pretty bold stuff though from a manager who struggled with his defence this season, but that means the club will most likely be spending big on a replacement in the winter window. Yes, names being thrown around include Inter's Milan Skriniar, who could cost as much as 100 million quid. But after Marino's big praise for Bonucci and Chiellini following the Juve match, some are suggesting he could be about to reign Juve. Ooh, that seems a little bit unlikely to me, but who do you think Jose should get in to sort out that defence? It's in need of some surgery, isn't it? Let us know in the comments and we might give you a shout out if you have a good suggestion. Maybe not. We finish as always with one to watch and Harold Orn Haraldsson, what a name, mm. has provided ours this week with Icelandic attacking midfielder Arnor Sigurdsson. Yes, the 19 year old was signed by CSK Moscow at the end of the summer after impressing in Sweden where he was playing predominantly on the left wing and he's been thriving in a more central role in Russia. While he's had limited minutes, Sigurdsson has impressed on the field, coming on and helping see out a famous victory over Real Madrid last month and getting his first Champions League goal against Roma. Nice stuff. He also scored in the club's win against leader Zenit on Sunday, which is not bad considering he got relegated from the Icelandic first division just last year. And amazingly, he's one of two Icelandic players in the CSKA squad, with centre-back Horda Magnusson also getting snapped up in the summer. Ooh, looks like the kid has a bright future, but who should we cover next week? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag 1-2-watch. Don't have a watch on, but yeah, have one on next week. You won't. I will. So that's the end of Football Mundial for yet another week. What a time we've had. That's been an absolute, it? an absolute beautiful time, it's so been, I would say. It's been unreal. It's, oh, it's, it's been God. amazing. Mikey. What a day. What should they go watch now? They should go over to EFD, which you're on right now, and watch Stat Wars The League. Kieran versus Zach from yesterday is an absolutely banging episode. Low on quality, high on entertainment. Lo what we like to see at Football Daily in general. Go to over to FDFC and check out Ethan Ampadu's bucket list from the weekend, because that was brilliant. Keep an eye out for the non-league vlog coming up maybe this weekend, hopefully. And uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Have a good time.